On this Hawk Trite 900 BD, I'm having a little issues with collimation in that one eye is the light is centered on the right eye, but on the left eye it's not it's not centered. And when I turn this side, the light moves. And it's not supposed to do that. It's supposed to stay in one place as I move as I move on the pivot. So we're going to try to address that by, by tightening the pivot barrel. So to take that off, I've got to, the safety screw is down here. That's a safety screw. Pull this side out. And probably what our issue is, is that the space in this barrel is not even. Perhaps when it was being shipped or something, it might have fallen and put pressure up against the eyepiece and bent these gaps closed or open. So then, now that I've gotten this side out, I'm going to check the, the gap of this pivot barrel with some razor blades. See, there's a little gap in there. This one is a little tighter. This one needs a lot. This one looks like it's opened up a little bit, which could cause the barrel not to be right and would cause my light to move as I turn the barrel it's not straight not perfectly straight so to get to that take the eyepiece out and we're going to take this cap off and on the newer BDs these are torques bits, uh, Torx 6 millimeter. I left the screws in there, but there they are. The reason I'm taking this off is because I want a flat surface. I'm, I'm going to be using a C-clamp. A C-clamp to put pressure on that. So I need a flat surface. Uh, don't, I don't need to take these off because I've already done that before and the prisms are glued in. They can't be adjusted. So I'm thinking that the issue is going to be with this. So what I'm going to do is get a, I've got a three inch C clamp. I'm going to put this is a piece of plastic, but it's heavy duty. And I'm going to put my C clamp 
right on this edge because this is what I, I want to do. I want to close this gap a little bit. Reason why I'm putting two in there so that I don't go too far. I've got two blades. I'm going to tighten it. I've got my blades in here. Right now I can move them. I'm going to tighten this C clamp. Hopefully it'll bend, but not too much, because I have the blades in there for to maintain a certain width. Okay, I've tightened it pretty snug. The razor blades are tight. It's a little extra snugness. And hopefully that might have been enough. Got this protected. Now I'm going to release. I'm going to look at my gaps. Yep, that's better. So, I'm going to put this back in the slit lamp after I put this cap back on, put everything back together, and then rotate. I'm going to pivot my eyepiece again to see if it corrects that movement of the light from turning. I don't want it, to, I want it to stay in one position as I'm turning. You can try this method if your eyes are really out of collimation and the, other, the only other alternative is to send it into hog strike. And if you send it into hog strike, you need to send the binoculars connected to the microscope arm. You don't have to send the lenses, just this, because they will adjust it to your arm.